Hey, 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 everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I decided to do a different tutorial and bring you something that you might enjoy, which is a tutorial on how to create text-based logos. I've gotten so many requests on my business page on how do you do text-based logos or I'm tired of using Canva. Can you show me? So I'm going to show you guys my way on how I create text-based logos. If you guys want to see how I did this, just keep on watching. And again, just keep in mind that I am showing you how I create text-based logos. Everybody do them differently, but this is how I do them. I use a software on my Mac called AM Keynote. It's similar to PowerPoint on your regular Windows computer. Um, actually, it's very similar. However, I use Keynote. So the first thing I do is pull up a blank template in Keynote and I delete everything that um, is presented in Keynote and I start with a blank canvas. Of course, you want to start with your blank canvas. The first thing I do is play around with a few fonts to see what direction that I want to go in. I usually just stick to a black font for everything um, just to see, you know, I like to see how it looks in black before I add color to it. So this is what I'm doing right now. I'm adding black coloring to it just so I can see how it looks first. And if you are wondering where I purchased all of my fonts from, I purchased them from a website called dafont.com, D-A-F-O-N-T.com. I'll make sure to link that in the description box. It is completely free. This is where I get all of my fonts from. So as you can see, I'm basically playing around with the fonts until I can find the perfect font that I feel looks best, but I ended up going with the same font as the first text for girl, which was no mark, I just decided to use it, um, the same font for a boss as well because it looked better. And I did edit my document size because when you are placing these items onto your Instagram for like your profile picture, you want to make sure that the complete logo is seen. So I had to edit my document size down to 1080 by 1080. If you guys don't know, that's usually like the standard the standard um, sizing for anything on Instagram. So as you can see, I'm basically playing around with the colors to find a nice shade of pink that I want to use for girl because of course girl is very, very girly. So I decided to use pink for that. And then for the boss, I am going to do a glitter text overlay and I will show you how I do that in Photoshop. Um, this mainly will probably be just like a watch me work, but if you want a full detailed tutorial on how I really create the logos, you can let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and just keep on watching. So here I am on the Photoshop page and as you guys know, I am using the font no mark. So what I do is pull up the text cursor by selecting the T that's right there in the left hand panel. That will then bring up a text box and then I will adjust the font to my liking. Again, I am using the font no mark and I will be showing you how to add glitter text to any logo. So once I get the sizing down accordingly, I then type in my desired text, which I am using boss. So then I will then proceed to go to the internet and find a glitter um, overlay of my choice. All you have to do is type in glitter background or glitter wallpaper and then the color and something will pop up on the internet that you can choose from. It's very, very simple. Um, you also can get the glitter wallpapers from Etsy but usually I'll just Google Google them <laughs> and then I'll find one that I like and that's what I did here I just Google gold glitter wallpaper and scroll down just a little bit to find the one that I liked and then I saved it by dragging it right on over to my desktop And 
And once I have the logo on my desktop, I then drag it onto Photoshop and it will load onto Photoshop. I can't lie, when I first started using Photoshop, I was a little bit intimidated by it because I was just like, oh my gosh, all these gurus use it. But once you start using Photoshop, it's really, very easy. I really don't do really too much in here. Um, I mainly design a lot of stuff in Keynote, believe it or not, like my flyers I do in Keynote, which is like the software that I mentioned earlier that's very, very similar to PowerPoint. I design mostly everything in there, but I'm just showing you how to create the glitter aspect of a logo. And as you see, the glitter wallpaper was not um, um, long enough to fit the boss text, so I had to turn it around. Um, I then am going to make it a little bit wider just so it can cover the whole text. Um, and that's what I'm doing now. I'm just adjusting it accordingly and then... When you're creating your glitter text, you want to make sure that your glitter um, layer is hovered over the text layer, just like how you see right there. You want to make sure that it's right over it, because if it's if the glitter layer is under the text, it will not work. So basically, you're going to go up to the top, and you're going to hit layer, and then you're going to cre hit create clipping mask, and that's how you know you have it in the right spot. Once you create the tip and the create the clipping mask, it will then look like that. And once I created the clipping mask, I then went into the under styles and blending options and I chose the bevel and embossed option, which then allowed to give it more depth. And then once I added the bevel and embossed, I did make my background transparent and then I saved it as a PNG. The way that you make it a transparent is you close the eye. Just as you see me do, I made sure I closed the eye so it is then a transparent background. I saved it to my computer and then I drug it right on over to Keynote. You will see me do all that in the next step. So once I'm in Keynote, I made sure to insert my image which is the file that I made in Photoshop to get the glitter text. I made sure I inserted that image and bring it right on over to Keynote. That's all I did, guys. I didn't do anything else to it, and I sized it accordingly. Um, I made sure that it aligned with my other text, and it looked neat. And once I had my text aligned, I then went into Format to change the background from white to black. All I did was go into Format under Color Fill, and I made sure I had the background selected, and I changed it from white to black. I did play around with some other colors to see how it looked, but of course, I only chose black. Once I chose my solid black background, I then proceeded to save this image. I did go into File, Export, Save as a JPEG, and then I exported it to my desktop, which is just a saving it to my desktop. And that was basically it. That's all I did, guys. It was as simple as that. But I will show you in the next slide on how I made a transparent background. If you are loving this video, don't forget to subscribe. So in order for me to change this to transparent, I went into background and then I went into no fill. I went into file, export images, and then selected the PNG option. And then my image was transferred into a PNG transparent background, which allows me to put this on videos, pictures, pretty much anything and everywhere I want my logo to be. Especially this helps when you want to put it on branding items such as poly mailers, tape, um, custom work. It's just, it works best for anything. And that is it to the video, guys. I want to thank you so much for tuning in, liking, commenting, and subscribing on all of my videos. You guys got me to 900 
supporters i don't like to call them subscribers but 900 supporters and i appreciate you guys please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and leave down in the comments what else you want to see from lux creations because i want to bring you guys some new and fun content until next time guys bye Thank you.